Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of CBT Podcast. My name is Carlos, and I'm here with my co-host, David Dockett. How are you, Dave? Doing great, Carlos. How about you? I'm excited. I'm yeah. excited. You know, we have new products. New products. Yeah. I love it. You know, it's like, it's like, it's like Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> So at Hydros, the, the Blenny is the newest member of this family. And the Blenny is a four-headed doser controller in one package. We just released the Minnow a year ago, and now we have the Blenny. Why? Well, I think a lot of people, they, they requested, they want four heads for dosing. Mm -hmm. Just one. Um, and then they also wanted the other capabilities that we have with our controllers and adding drive ports and sense ports, which is what we're giving them here. Yeah, you know, I think it comes down to the, the consolidation of things. Yeah. You know, this, unfortunately, this hobby, and it's just nature of the hobby. This hobby, as you get new gadgets, you get new stuff. And it's like, it just, all of a sudden, you have a 10-gallon tank and you need this huge room to, to, to house all the equipment. Yeah. And you get to the point where like, ah, can I just please just, can I, you know, it's like I have two dosers and they're two heads each. Can I just get one that is four heads? Yeah. Or I have four single dosers in here. If I could just consolidate that into one with four heads, it would be so much easier. Yeah. So while this is not a, you know, innovative thing, it just suffices that a part of me that wants to consolidate and just make things simpler. Correct. And that's what we're, we're trying to do, you know, is trying to, we look at it almost like Legos and, and mm -hmm. how we want to put these together for mm -hmm. uh, that certain customer and what they want. Oh. And some customers want the four separate dosers. Yeah. Some customers don't some customers want one device with the four dozers? I mean, there, you know, let's be real. There's a lot of competing brands out there that have four headed dozers. Yes. And at Hydros, we always say if we're going to do something, we're going to do it better. So we just didn't want to release a four headed doser and that was it. We wanted to add certain things to it because at the end of the day, you know, you can never have too many. Sense ports. Yeah. Or you can never have too many drive ports. Dave, why do I need the sense ports? Temperature. Uh, you want leak detection. You want an ATO. And keep in mind with our ATO, now you're talking the level sensor with a pump all on this one unit. Maybe exactly. you want a, a skimmer sensor to prevent overflows. Maybe you want leak detection. All of this can be incorporated in into this single controller. Okay. And it also comes with two 12-volt drive ports. Yeah. Why? Well, now you can run little pumps, ATO pumps, solenoids, low-voltage devices, fans. Yeah. So the way I think about it, and when we were designing this thing, it's on like, I looked at the minnow and i'm like two head two dosers with four sense ports mm. and i'm thinking small nano tank yeah so i got i got the ato the water with the pump i have dosing for like uh ready to reef mm -hmm. but i'm thinking it's like okay what else can i'm missing stuff well, yeah. what i want i want it i have a small tank i have a skimmer with a 12 volt uh skimmer pump do I want to, do I have to buy an XP8 for that? Or do I have to do a Wi-Fi strip? And I'm like, okay. So the Blenny comes in and says, now we have four sense ports and two drive ports. So now you have the ATO, which you can use the, 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 the dosing pump. You have the ready to reef. You have some, you have two other dosing pumps for something else, your calcium and your magnesium. Oh my God, you got that. And then on top of that, you have the two drive ports for that skimmer pump or you know what? You have those lights. It's a small nano pump, nano tank with the 12 volt LED light. Yeah. 
you know, or you are a small nano tank where you have that little skimmer, you know, the skimmer, the, the filter skimmer, that's mm -hmm. 12 volt skimmer you put in there. So all of a sudden now you have the blenny. It's almost like a complete controller for that small tank out there. Yes. And that, and that's, that's our, that's what we're trying to do. We're condensing this yes. to, you know, fit a certain customer and his system. Yes. I'm not trying to force them with something else that the minnow that doesn't have all of their capabilities that the customer exactly. may want. Exactly. And the great thing about the, the, the Blenny is that it's also a controller by itself. As we just said, it, it can, it can work by itself or it can also be part of a collective. So if you have a collective and you need more dosing pumps, here comes the Blenny. Just add it to the collective and you're ready to go. Yeah. It's a very small too. The footprint is 7.5 inches tall by six and a half wide and only two and a half inches deep. That's the footprint. It's a small little guy, you know, and IP65, right, Dave? Splash resistant. Keep in mind, yes. not waterproof, splash resistant. So we can it's handle, you know, splashing and in the in the salty environment in your cabinet or in the environment it can handle the humidity it was built for that obviously it's not gonna it's not it's not gonna be able to handle if you drop it in the water uh, it's probably not gonna work mm -hmm. but you know but it's ip65 so it's splash proof yeah you know and the best feature about this is you know we talked about the sense ports we talked about the drive ports but then you have four dosing pumps Four dozen pumps. I mean, the, the think about what all you're getting with this is, is pretty insane. And you can control the speed on the dosing pumps too. Yeah. It's not like one dosing pump that is a set speed of, you know, the, I think the standard speed for most dosing pumps out there is it's 40 milliliters per minute. Mm -hmm. But this one, you can actually do 25, you can do 40, and then you can do 55. And on top of that, you can also run it in reverse if you yeah. want to flush or do something like that. So um, they are not, they're not stepper motors. So they're not meant to run continuously, mm -hmm. clarifying that one, but they can, they work just like any other pump out there. You know, it's, it's a very, it's the, the Blenny is not only on par, but it takes that four headed doser one step higher and above, and it makes it a better buy. So, um, which brings me to this, to the programming part, Dave, it uses the high dose app, super simple. Yep. Same uh, intuitive, easy to use app that all our devices use. Um, exactly. And it comes with all the features, you know, um, cloud backup, uh, notifications when things go wrong, like just like any other Hydros device, the Blenny does not require Wi-Fi to run. Mm. It doesn't. Once you program it, it'll run. Actually, once you program it, it doesn't need us. It doesn't need the human. It'll just keep doing what it's supposed to do. Now, obviously, if the human likes to micromanage, like yeah. myself, I like to see. Then I go to the app and look at things. So when you add the Wi-Fi capabilities to the device, it unlocks a whole bunch of features out there that benefit you, such as notifications, such as cloud backup, such as being able to monitor things from anywhere in the world. So, you know, once you program it, the, 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 the configuration is stored in the Blenny and it'll run continuously without any problems. Uh, but if you want to make changes or if you want to be notified, or if you want to have the, all the other features that come with the, with, with the cloud, you need to connect it to Wi-Fi. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, if you uh, like what you hear, if you uh, if this is the first time you're listening to us, please don't forget to subscribe. You can find the audio podcast on Spotify, and you can also watch our pretty mugs mm -hmm. on YouTube at the CBTV Coral View channel. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.